Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing how to make these super simple treat bags that you can fill with candy or little goodies to give out for Valentine's Day or any kind of party or really anything, just a little gift. Um, I am using a 12 by 12 sheet of Canvas Corp Craft um, cardstock and I'm sh showing you here how these are the treat bags that I'm using. Now I don't know what treat bags you may have but um, these these actually worked out to measure out so I could cut three strips of cardstock so I could make three little treat bags out of these. Um, so I have my three strips of cardstock and really with a 12 by 12 strip of paper you're just gonna make a few score lines, add a few punches and you have a treat bag. So I have 12 inches of cardstock here on my scoreboard and we want to make a little flap to fold over on the front of our treat bag so I'm scoring one inch so I'm scoring it here at 11 inches and now I want to score in the middle of that 11 inches so that I can fold it in half and still have a little extra to make that top flap. So half of 11 is five and a half so I'm scoring it at five and a half and then I also want to make a little bit wider of a base so that my treat bag can stand up on its own so I'm scoring it at five inches and at six inches. Now you could just get rid of that middle score line. I actually found that I liked it because you can fold it up and kind of make sort of um, an accordion fold and it helps give your little treat bag a little bit more stability I found so that after it's scored and folded um, it kind of helps your treat bag stand up a little bit better. So you can see here I'm scoring and folding that middle piece and it's kind of kind of a little accordion fold and you can see here how it's going to give a little bit more stability. But if you don't like that part you can just skip that score line and that's totally fine. So once you have your cardstock all scored you can go ahead and punch some holes that you'll use to then tie some string or ribbon in. And I'm not really measuring I'm just going ahead and eyeballing this but you do want the flap to line up with the piece that goes underneath. So just go ahead and fold that flap over, um, hold it down, get a pencil, and just mark out where you want to punch the holes on that under piece. And that way those two will line up and you can easily um, just slip a ribbon or a string in there and tie it. And then it'll be a perfect little treat bag. So I have two here done and I made these really in a matter of minutes. It doesn't take long at all. And I just want to show you now how you kind of put your little bag inside. So my treat bags are really long. I don't need them that long. They're probably double the length I need them. Um, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball how much I need and then I'm going to take my scissors and cut the top off. I'm leaving a little bit extra so that I can then um, attach it to my uh, my cardstock tree bag. You also want to use a little bit extra because once you get your candy in there it's going to expand a little bit. So just leave a little bit extra if you cut yours down. And then I'm folding it over and then I'm going to go ahead and just staple it to this front part. And once you fold that flap over it's going to hide the staples so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but stapling it, I found, was the easiest way to go. I tried to line up my bag and punch holes through it, but I found that was a little too tedious, and I didn't want to spend all that much time, especially if you're going to go ahead and make a bunch of treat bags. Just go ahead and staple it, because once you fold that part over on the top, it's going to be hidden, you're not going to see the staples, and it'll be fine. You do want to go ahead, and after you have it stapled, Go ahead and punch some holes so that you can um, thread your twine or your ribbon through. Um, but once it's stapled, it's going to stay in place and it's going to be so much easier to get it all lined up. So that's my little tip. Just go ahead and staple it. <laughs> it's going to be hidden anyway. So I have everything stapled down, everything attached. My candy's in there. I just want to tie it shut with a little bit of Canvas Corp jute cord. I love this cord. It's so natural. It looks like twine and it goes great with this crack. So go ahead and thread it through your bag, thread it through that piece that folds under, and then go ahead and thread it through that top flap. And then you can go ahead and um, tie it into a bow or not, add a little tag, a little note, some charms, anything really to make it look really cute. Um, and then your little treat bag is pretty much done other than embellishing. And I'll show you here in this video how I embellished mine. 
But there's a lot of different options of different things you can do. You could stamp on your craft cardstock before scoring it down. Um, you could do some embossing. You could do some coloring. Anything you want to do. Change these up for any different um, event or holiday. Mine is a little bit more geared towards Valentine's Day, but you could do it for birthdays or any other celebration. So there's the little tree bags. I'm going to show you how I embellished my front. I kept it really super simple. I'm just doing a little die cutting. Um, this is a Brutus Monroe oval um, die and it, it does a little stitched detail around the outside and I'll show you a little close up of that once I get this cut. Um, but it cuts really well. It's got this little stitch detail and I thought it was really cute. I'm also using some of these dies from Winnie and Walter. This cuts out the shadow piece and it cuts out a little design that you can layer on front. I thought these were look really cute. They're called Maggie's Roses Cutaways from Winnie and Walter. And I'm just going to go ahead and adhere these little outline pieces on top of the shadow piece using a little Brutus Monroe craft glue. And I really love this craft glue, craft glue once you have that fine tip applicator on top because it just works really fantastic for these tiny die cuts, um, tiny sentiments, anything you need to work, work with. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, go ahead and layer that on top of your shadow piece and then just press it down so that it sticks. Um, sometimes working with these tiny die cuts, you get a little glue squishing out, um, even if you use a fine tip applicator. I just take a towel and kind of dab it away before it dries. And it dries clear, so you usually don't see it very much at all. So it's not too big of a problem. Now I'm showing you the stamps that I'm using to stamp out this sentiment. This is a Spellbinder stamp set, um, and it's actually a little salt and, sh and pepper shaker, which is really cute. But the sentiment I thought would go perfect. Um, hey there, sugar, or oh hey sugar, because we're giving away some candy. So let's put some sugar on the sentiment. I'm just going to stamp it out in my Misty using my Versifying Black ink, which is a pigment ink, so you do want to give it a little bit of time to dry. I think I actually hit this with my heat tool after I stamped it out just to make sure it was dry and I wasn't going to smudge anything. I love using my Misty for stamping out these kind of sentiments because you can get it all lined up, um, pick it up with that door of your Misty and everything's going to stay in place so that you can stamp out a really cute sentiment and it's going to be exactly where you want it. So like I said, I went ahead and I dried that. I made sure the ink was dry so I didn't smudge it everywhere. And then I just went ahead and adhered it to the front of my treat bag. And once that little sentiment was on there, then I could just go ahead and layer on the flowers. And I did that using some foam adhesive. I just wanted to pop them up a little bit. Um, and I did make sure that my sentiment was kind of up a little bit in the middle. I knew I was going to layer these flowers down on the bottom, so I left some room so that I wasn't covering up the sentiment. So that's one thing you might want to think about when you're kind of planning out your design is where your sentiment's going to go, what your embellishments are going to be. Um, just make sure you leave yourself room for whatever you want to do on your project. So I'm just adding a little bit of foam adhesive, and I'm sticking this little flower down first. And then I'm going to layer the bigger flower on top of it. Now, since part of this bigger flower is going to be overlapping the smaller one. I'm not going to put foam adhesive on that edge that's going over the smaller flower. I'm going to put foam adhesive on the other side and then some liquid adhesive on this side that's going to overlap. And that way it just accounts for that varying in heights and it's going to be a nice height all the way across, <laughs> if that makes sense. So um, that's another little tip that you can use as just mix up the liquid glue and the foam adhesive just to make sure everything is the same height. So just layer that on top and um, adhere it down. And then the last thing I did was punched a little heart out of some glitter card stock and then just layered that over my treat bag as well. Super easy, super simple, and I made several of these in really no time at all. So if you want to go ahead and make some of these treat bags for the upcoming Valentine's Day, I'd say get a head start, but it doesn't take that too much time to make some really cute handmade gifts. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Otherwise, I'll have more description and links at my blog, and I will catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.